All right, you guys, welcome back to another episode of the Xenoverse 2 Legend Patrol DLC story. We're continuing with part one of the GT saga. And since both Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta are in it, we're going in with the Super Saiyan All build. A massive shout out to Fluffy for creating this Awoken skill. He used a lot of different mods to put this skill together. This form consists of Super Saiyan 1, 2, 3, 4, Super Saiyan 4 Full Power, Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker, and a 7th transformation, which I can't wait for you guys to see. As for the skill set, massive shoutouts to the revamp team and Unleash for the Super and Ultimate attacks. Of course, I'll have all the model links down below in the description if any of you guys are interested. And make sure to get this video to 4,000 likes for Super Saiyan 4. I'll greatly appreciate it. You know, this is the second to last episode. I believe we have today's episode and one more after this. And then, no more of the Legend Patrol DLC, no! So, I kind of dropped the first parts of part one yesterday. <laughs> so we're going to continue on to Panic Underworld and Earth Connected. I am ready for this. Here we go. I found the scroll. Baby, he's dangerous. You must be careful. Speaking of Baby Vegeta, how awesome would it have been if we fought his Super Baby Vegeta 2 form? Yeah. I mean, I know we already fought his Great Ape form, but imagine a Super Saiyan 4 full power yeah, Goku versus Super Baby well, Vegeta 2 boss fights and cutscene. What if they did one of those cool pre-rendered animated cutscenes? I don't know, I would really appreciate that, but obviously it never happened because... Sure. Uh, what, the character didn't even come out until Xenoverse 2 DLC 6? Somewhere around there? <laughs> so, that, we know why it never happened, but if they ever create a Xenoverse 3, hopefully they'll do a proper GT saga with Baby Vegeta. Just because, I don't know, I do like the character, especially coming from the GT series. Oh, whatever, <laughs> it's not a big deal. Here, there's something going on with this scroll. Head over there! Trunks, don't try to change the subject on me. Oh, by the way, did you guys enjoy the character swap from the last episode? I switched Super Saiyan 4 Goku with his Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker form. I thought that was pretty cool. I was also transformed as well. And I also switched Goku's Super Saiyan 4 transformation from this saga to... A new transformation. Oh, that's going to be pretty awesome. Can't wait for that. All right. Raspberry in a pool. Let me just body you guys real quick. I'm not going to transform into my Super Saiyan 4 state until Goku arrives, which I think is the second part of this mission with Super 17. So I'm just going to be using my first transformation. Probably Super Saiyan 2 and 3 as well. What a fight. Okay. Because these guys are just a Frieza henchman. They're weak. They should be dead by now, and I'm still fighting the first one. What is this? And he dodged... Okay, never mind. I was about to say. He dodged my burst, Big Bang. Get over here, Raymond. Ah, there it is. Oh, that almost killed him. I need more key. Surging Spirit. The only reason why I have this is be... Oh, my gosh. This doesn't have knockback. What the? <laughs> oh, I used Dragon Dance. Well, the only reason why I have Surging Spirit UI is because it matches the last and final transformation, which again, you will see soon. All right, Raymond is dead. How many of these guys do we have to kill? I believe I said 20. Do we really have to destroy 20 of these guys? These missions are so time consuming. Timelines. The trunks of that other additional timeline is the one controlled by me. And the self that's talking to you. Three, four, one! Well, oh my gosh! Yo! <laughs> that was amazing! Oh, this is like an AoE attack. What the? That was kind of cool. Can we get two for one here? You don't really care about Okay, we only got one of them. That's fine. Let me just damage all of them before destroying them before I can, you know, like, destroy all of them at once. Alright, I, I need to pile them all together. I think this is good. Surround me! Oh, I need a snap. Do it now! AOE! Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, no, that was very anticlimactic. Dang it. <laughs> well, that didn't work out. Oh, 
Oh, okay. He was actually the last enemy. Haha. <laughs> You're doing pretty good. The Ginyu Force. Oh, but with Nappa. <laughs> Raccoon! Yo, first it was Captain Ginyu. Then it was Ginyu and Vegeta's body. Now we have... Uh, Nappa. Two. Yeah. Ginyu and Nappa's body? Or is that just Nappa? Now that has to be Ginyu and Nappa's body, right? I'm pretty sure. Missing Captain. Alright, so it might be Nappa. <laughs> And the new Ginyu Force is called Neo Ginyu Force. Kind of interesting. All right, five v one. You force without Ginyu? <laughs> you seem surprised. That's adorable. We are the Neo Ginyu Force, the cream of the crop, the elite among the elite in the galaxy. We are proudly returned from the Demon Realm. To get revenge for our unfortunate mistakes on planet Nana. <laughs> you! It's Vegeta! Hey! It's Trunks! We freed him from the Tuffle Mind Control! Let's go! I like how they reused that uh, cutscene. I believe it was from the Future Trunks saga as well when he launched the blast towards Mira. <laughs> I didn't recognize that. My father doesn't need to fight the lights. I'll be down. Woo! Whoa. I have a newfound respect for you, other me. We learn from our mistakes. Hey, let's go. That's the way. <laughs> hey, I mean, he was controlled by Baby anyway, so. I won't bow out that easily. I'll be the one to take you down. No. No, no, I we destroyed Nappa! Now we have to defeat the rest! Okay, you know, these guys shouldn't be too tough. We destroyed the captain, so... These guys are gonna start panicking. They're not gonna know what to do. Their formation is all off. <laughs> Yo, they relied too much of their powers and strategy on their captains. Now that he's gone... They're gonna go crazy! The blue hurricane of the Ginyu Force won't lose this easily! You. Okay, he's gone. Now we have Raccoon. I think Raccoon is the second strongest, right? First Captain Ginyu, then Raccoon. Maybe. I could be totally wrong. I know Jace was the last survivor, technically. Uh, but I don't think he was the strongest. Dang it, I should have transformed into Super Saiyan 3. Just for the cutscene. Ah, my back! My <laughs> other me! Oh no, Android 17 arrived! I came back from the other world. Yo, it's kind of cool because I think they fuse like we have an actual cutscene. And I think, could be wrong, but IME actually created his in-game Android 17 duo cutscene. And I think he got it from, uh, yeah, Xenoverse 1. Could be wrong, though. According to regular history, the Android 17 from Earth should appear and merge with this new 17 to create Super 17. But if this even stronger 17 were to create a Super 17, the power level of that stronger Super 17 would be insurmountable. Immeasurable, irresistible power, no! They're gonna form the ultimate android! <laughs> ah, I'm out of stamina. Okay, this is bad. Oh. Become one with me. Oh, Jesus! He's gonna kill me! Ah, oh, no! He broke my stamina. Why? Oh my gosh. Fair play. <laughs> I tried to transform into a Super Saiyan 3. What are you doing? Hurry. 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 Full power, Super Become Saiyan 3. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, not that again. Let's go. I broke his stamina. Let me go ahead and use my ultimate move. Ah, dang it, I missed the last two. Let's just take this up a notch. Super Saiyan 4. Ah, good thing I didn't use my transformation because he would have broke my stamina. Oh, no. 
Okay, cool. At least I transformed for the cutscene. This is good enough. What? Where did... After them, come on! Seventeen Fusion, Birth of Super Seventeen. Here it is. And I reverted back to my base form. I am you. We will become one. All right, it's time for full power Super Saiyan 4. I'm ready. Oh my gosh, he has blue health. This is gonna be hard. It's, it's an insane power. Okay. It's time for me to thank you for early. Oh, I am gonna die. Woo! That looked kind of cool. That looked kind of cool, man. His evil energy was around my character. Okay, so this is full power. Uh, I just don't have an aura, essentially. Oh my gosh, okay, already? Oh, GT Goku! There, oh, that's a pretty cool pose. Super Saiyan 4, let me break! You went and so much trouble! Combine your strength with Goku to defeat Super 17! This makes sense right here, because obviously that's a new and improved Super 17, because the Android 17, I believe, was a bit stronger. Not only that, but he also had the villainous energy. So he's he's a lot stronger, right? But I'm countering his new power boost with my Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker boost. Uh-huh, so it's pretty even. Now we got a new cutscene. Oh! <laughs> Super Saiyan 5 Goku! Oh, this is it. This is it right here. Let me go ahead and use my last and final transformation. Super Saiyan 5 Riku! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> we are now stronger than you, Super 17. You were a little bit stronger than Super Saiyan 4 Goku, I believe. I can't really remember. Was Super 17 stronger than 4 Goku? I think so. Now, you're no longer stronger because... Ah, yo, he timed out with perfection. What the heck? Oh my gosh! That was cool! Super Saiyan 5 Goku used his ultimate attack as well. And his Super Kamehameha went through like Godly Display Bass. That was awesome. Ah! What is this? He's still very strong. Stop using your evasive, you weakling! Oh, times 10? Perfect. Oh, let me use Burst Bang. I guess that's the only key blast attack I have besides my ultimate. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we connected all of them. That usually never happens. Woo! There it is. Surging Spirit with Super Saiyan 5. Again, that's literally the only reason why I included that charge. My ultimate attack is stronger than yours, Super 17. Yo, look at Goku over there. Ah, I missed! It's that hole again. Hey, are you going somewhere? You know, I gotta thank you. Make no mistake, I will pay you back. The wormhole. It swallowed number 17. This isn't a coincidence. Demigra is most likely trying to. He wants to use Baby and Super 17 as tools to create a big distortion in history. I mean, I guess. Whatever the case, we can't allow any more of this. 
Assume this is our final chance. You got it? Right. And I think that concludes part one of the GT Saga. As always, thank you guys for the immense support. Make sure to leave a like on today's video, and I'll drop part two very soon. GT Saga, second half.